everybody, Steve Colescott here for EliteFTS.com, doing another segment of Video Inquisitions with Michael Stekiner. Uh, Mike, you trained at Westside. How did that come about, and, and what time period did this happen, and how long were you there? Westside Barbell. Well, um, how did it happen? Well, I guess what we'll start with is telling about how I basically got to Westside. <laughs> I was at that point in the sport for about two, uh, about two years. I had done three meets at that point, a full meet and, a, and two deadlift meets. And at that point, what I had basically done was a, one, of my old, one of my original training partners, Mike Manzo, had shown me a video of Louis Simmons, uh, his squat video. He had won his squat video and he gave it to me a look at and I said, I've got to meet this man. So when I went down to visit Louis, <clears throat> Um, about a month later, um, I had asked him if I transfer to Ohio State, can I come train West Side? He said, yeah, sure. So three months later when the semester started and I transferred over there, uh, I came and knocking on West Side's door and that's how I became a member of West Side Barbell. Of course, the funny, the funny part behind the story is, is that Louis always says he never really thought I'd come. That's why he told me it was okay to come and train there. Uh, so, I guess, you know, he was stuck with me for two years. Um, the time period I was there uh, was during the early 90s. I had arrived there in 93 and I was gone uh, in 1995, uh, midway through 1995 into 96. So I was there for approximately two years. And uh, during that time period that you were there, what type of gains did you make? Where did your total go where did your total start out and what did it end up at? When I first got there, um, my best total at the time was weighing around 210 was a, a thousand pounds. Um, and when, by the time I had left there, um, I weighed around 265, between 260 and 265. And my best total at that time was mid 1500s. <laughs> so, you know, I clearly made a, a tremendous amount of improvement, and I was really on a roll by the time I had left there, so it was very exciting to see what I was capable of doing. And lastly, Mike, how has your training evolved since you left the gym there? I guess the best way to tell about how my training has evolved since then really is to kind of take you through a, a very quick uh, path of where I've been since then. Um, when I left West Side, when I really got West Side, it was the beginning of my powerlifting career. So when I left there, it was only a couple of years later. Therefore, when I left there, um, I had a rather long uh, record of other gyms and other clubs I had been a part of from that point to where I am today. So that's what I'm going to basically take you through. Um, when I left West Side, and I came back to New York, I had ended up going back to Iron Island Gym and hooking up with um, Chris Taylor, who during that time frame, basically, uh, I had squat my first 700 pounds with Chris, and I benched in the mid fours when I was training with Chris. Um, then when I moved forward from there, I had begun to train with John Bott. And I was with John for about six years, John and his entire crew, which was a lot of fun. We had a really, really great crew. Uh, um, at that time, I had squatted um, mid to upper sevens. Um, I had benched my first 500 pounds, and I had uh, totaled my master's total with John. And then I had relocated to Florida, at which point or where I was training at Southside Barbell with Bob Youngs. And that was the point where I had told my first elite, and my only elite, um, at 275. And I had also um, benched uh, 555 when I was at Southside as well. Uh, so those were two pretty exciting things. Um, and of course, my, my deadlift had gone up in that, in that period of time as well. So 
Then when I left, I was in Florida for about five or six years. And then when I left, I, uh, I came back to New York and I started training with John, at which point I have squatted my official first over 800 pounds, uh, excuse me, 800 pound squat. And I had benched uh, my first 565 bench. And again, I have gotten some small deadlift PRs as well. Um, with that said, um, basically, now that you know the timeline, to go to go into how my training has evolved from that from from where I left West Side to now. <laughs> Truth be told, I I've always stayed with the basic West Side template. The only things that have really changed in this time frame, quite frankly, are the fact that when I was at West Side there was no bands, there was no chains, and we didn't have a model left. So when I was when I left West Side uh, was when a lot of those things began getting incorporated into West Side. Therefore. At that point, I just, you know, I basically moved forward with the times. Um, the other thing that's evolved in my training is getting to know the gear and learning different types of gear that I've tried to use over the years, as well as, most importantly, continuing to become a student of the sport, as I have, um, learning my body and what works best for me. That's probably the biggest thing that's evolved with my training is, is learning what works for me and learning what doesn't work for me. Because to me, if you don't understand your body and you don't understand your leverages and what works for you, you're really never going to be able to evolve in your training. So that's basically, in a, in a nutshell, how my training evolved throughout the years. Uh, I can give you an example just with Ben shirts. <laughs> Uh, when I was starting in powerlifting, I was using a denim bench shirt. <laughs> Back then, I was using a thumbless grip, and it was a little bit of a higher touch and a straight push. And that then, years later, evolved to using a poly shirt, a, a full grip with thumb around the bar, and hitting it much lower to the belly and pushing it back and rotating out with your arms. So, like I said, as things evolved and I learned more and I learned what was more efficient for my body is how I moved forward in my progression in the sport.